What's up YouTube? My name is Veku. Welcome to my channel. We are going to continue with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond playthrough. And there we go. Episode 9, we have our five <coughs> five Pokemon together. It was last night at a Christmas party from my office, so if my voice sounds a little bit little bit weird, I've been just singing those good old Christmas songs whole evening, so. Doo -doo -doo. So let's see. We have Empoleon, Staraptor, Roselia, Stangi and uh, Alagazam from Japan. And we have a weird Manaphy egg, but we'll probably won't be using that Pokemon during the playthrough, but maybe later on. Hunter. Haunter could actually be a little bit annoying. Let's see if Brian is enough. We are faster, which I'm pretty surprised. I mean, we are much, much higher level, but our Empoleon is a really slow Gadabra. It's, it's a great, great way to use Stungy. Maybe we'll get Skunk Tank on this episode. I don't know what level Stungy evolves, so... I'm assuming, like, in the 30s, 34, 36, 37, something like that. And we'll go for a bite. Psybeam doesn't defect. Bite should definitely take it out, yep. Very nice. So, how's all of your guys' day, days been going? Have you played the game? Have you enjoyed the playthrough? Are you new here? I would really appreciate it if you guys... If you, if you have a feeling that you would like to comment, please do comment or press that like button, at least. At least if you're chilling here with me, that gives gives me a huge, huge help. Huge, huge, huge help for the channel. And the channel will have also a lot of other stuff in the future, but now we play this game. I've been working really hard, I'm pretty tired, so it's a good, good chill game. Empoleon, move out of my way. Uh, let's use another one. Let's try to get those trainer battles. Empoleon. So yeah, maybe we'll try to evolve a Stungi. <coughs> we need to access Iron Islands to evolve Rosalia, so... That won't be happening in this episode, I think. That's fine. We don't necessarily need Rosa Raid right away. Rosalia in itself is surprisingly good. It's pretty slow, but our has speed boosting nature and uh, I think Roselia has a really good really good speed. They should have went for Ice Beam because this Pokemon might have a Poison Point. Actually does Poison Point affect a Steel Dive? I know Poison Moves doesn't affect Steel Dives but does Poison Point? That's an interesting question. <coughs> a healing move. Giga Drain, Crash Knot. Stun Spore and a Poison Sting. So this is just kind of nice. I guess Crash Nut is a little bit useless at this point. I don't know. Giga Drain is probably... Well, <clears throat> in some cases it's better, but Giga Drain heals you back, so I don't know. Decisions have already been made. Let's go Stungy. Let's try to get that Skunk Tank. Maybe I'll put Stungy in front again. And we'll go for a flamethrower, probably won't KO, but it's a cool move that Stungi gets. Yeah. But Roselia can't really do anything to Stungi here. Yeah, they shouldn't do anything. Yep. We used to have Ponyta on the team. That fire move would have been definitely better, but. I mean, this is all the fire coverage I think we need, and Alakazam is just, just a great, great balance for our team. We had a lot of weaknesses to some 
well, a dragon dive with a ground move would have really destroyed our team, so... Black Sludge, Roselia again, ah, uh, send it out. I guess we'll keep, keep on flamethrowering. I could use Staraptor, but you you guys know this Rose three Roselias with probably Poison Bind. If I use Aerial on every one of them will definitely get poisoned. Cool animation, and especially from Stungy. Doesn't look like a Pokemon that gets Flamethrower, but really good. It's kind of funny looking. I like it, Sam. Gets leveling up. Collector Douglas was defeated. Max potion there. This is definitely, this is the item finder. It's definitely a better feature with if you're playing this like with the touchpad. I'm recording so I don't have access to that right now. It's a little bit janky. It kind of works, but... Alright, Rune Maniac. I don't want to put Stungy in front. Probably has like something, yeah. Some rock type, so... Does Embolion get a flash cannon or something? It is steel water. <clears throat> Attack roll. Haven't really, haven't really seen that move in a while, and we'll just go for grass not to save those water moves. Easy peasy. Give the experience. Also, kind of like the fact that I changed, uh, traded my Gadapra for another Gadapra, so now the Alakazam actually gets more boosted experience. That's kind of nice. Let's see what this guy has. I know this game has some problems. You might get actually stuck. In some areas, I think the snow area, and I heard something from another area. If you don't do the trainers, probably, probably doesn't consider concern this place. But I, I like to do the trainer battles nonetheless. Good experience. The boozle goes down. And another boozle, send it out. I probably should have let my Embolion learn the Aqua Jet, but... That's fine for now. And another Buizel. Should have probably just... Loo loose stun spore or something for sin did I really need even synthesis? Grassnut was much better, I think. This Giga Train already heals me, so uh, well It is what it is. I think I want maybe sleep powder or that stun spore. Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, and maybe a coverage move. I know Roselia gets Dazzling Gleam also, so that could be a good backup for those Dragon Dives. If we get a chance to use it. Go on, Empoleon, I know you can do it. Excited for our strategy to run. Come on! One of these rune guys again. Pretty sure there's a cave or something in here. With 
like one Team Galactic member or or something like that. Ranidas. Well, these are not good battles to use Stungi, so Stungi will just have to do leveling up in the back. Uh Nut is also super effective, so I guess this is pure rock type then. I like the fossil Pokemon from this game, dude. They look nice. The Raptor keeps leveling up. Very nice. Geodude. Ah, uh, send it out. Stuggy doesn't have anything good for this. These Pokemon. We'll keep using Empoleon or. It is sturdy. Sandstorm. But Empoleon is a steel type, so we don't actually get damage from the steel type does not get damage. Does not get damage from the sandstorm. Alright, alright. There we go, there we go. And the bronze or I'm going to go for Stungy for that one. We are gonna get puffed by the Sandstorm, but we have the Black Sludge, so that's be fine. <coughs> I think Bite is super effective and also Flamethrower, so... Uh, I think in this case Bite is probably better. I don't know. Yep. As for some reason, it's at least Stungi has a lot more attack than special attack. I don't know if that's the case with with just the one I caught or with Skunk Tank or but that's the, that is the case for now. Let's swap Empoleon for now. Oh Roselia is kinda small. <laughs> Oof. Oh yeah, there is a cave here. And you could have actually accessed it <laughs> right from here. TM28 dig is actually a good move. Yada yada yada, unknown there, unknown here. These guys always with their unknowns. I'm pretty sure you can proceed from that cave at some point in this game to a, like a dried out lake or something. It has something to do with the Team Galactic plot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yay! Double battle coming up, my friends. <laughs> oh. Now I'm walking with Stungi, I was supposed to switch. Stungi in here. I might as well put Alagas. Ah. Walk with Alagasam. I wanna see how Alagasam <laughs> walks. Oh. Okay, these guys don't wanna battle. Alagasam floats around. Interesting. Alright, alright. This guy won't let us pass, I think. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. This is a pretty pretty quick town, I think, and we can move on quite fast here. Oh, trainer battles. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ooh, double battles. Very nice. We'll get some experience for Stunky here. Ooh. Let's go, Japanese, Alagazam, and Stunky. I still do hope that 
does say, like I said, I'm in Japanese, but who knows? We'll go for a Dazzling Gleam. Nice. And the bite. Oh yeah, Mario is a fairy type, so it resists bite, but it's fine. Apeham. Just an Apeham. Go for a Sysak and just keep using bite. I wanna see the animation. So a special attacking move, Sysark is a special attacking move that uh, <coughs> for the damage counter uses your opponent's defense stat instead of special defense, even though it's a special attacking move. It's a really kind of nice move, so if you have Psychic and Psyshock, you'll be in a pretty good spot. Let's see what we have here. Scientist Emilio and Pokemon Predator Kaylee. Kaylee? Kaylee? Stungy. Stungy has a good typing against our Alagasam. This could be a little bit annoying, I think. Hmm. Go for the Raptor here, I think, and we'll go for a bite here. I don't think we actually KO Stungy. Maybe with Dazzling Gleam and uh, Flamethrower, that would have probably been enough. That like Sam is really frail, so a bite from Stungy, opposing Stungy, could actually do a lot. We'll go for our bite. Nice. Yeah, that probably should give us some nice experience points. Very nice. It's almost to that skunk tank level. Almost. And they go for a bite, but they go for a bite there. Interesting. We don't mind that too much. We go for uh, Aerial Ace and probably just a Flamethrower, I guess. Okay, one more, a Buizel. And we'll go for an Aerial Ace and we'll go for a Bite, but Aerial Ace should definitely do the trick. Easy stuff, easy peasy. You know, I had confidence before heading into this. Well, it is what it is. Kinda like this place. Really chill double battles. Double battles are a good way to level up the team as well. Starly and the low bunny. Go for that dazzling gleam, and we'll go for a bite into the low bunny. <coughs> Baby doll eyes in the stunky. Into the cadabra. And a quick attack, they have all the moves. All the moves, and we crit the low bunny. Nice. Lobani should give us some good experience as well. It's kinda cool using something like a Stungy. I have never used it in the original games and definitely haven't used the Alakazam because I'm pretty much the only one that played these Pokemon games in my friend group or you know what I mean. So I never had anybody to really trade this Pokemon with and back in the day you, you well, I guess you had online trades in the newer ones, but in the older ones you need like a specific cord or a wire between the... Between the games so you could change... What? Alakazam won't obey. What is... 
What is going on, Alagasam? Is it too high level? Is it the trade? Oh. How does that work? A traded Pokemon, Wonder Bay. Is it like 10 levels lower than the... Uh, you know you know what I mean. Every time you beat the gym, the gym leader will tell you what level Pokemon you can have at this point of game. But because the traded Pokemon get more experience, maybe that doesn't kind of affect the same way. Maybe it's something different with them. I like a Sam, what are you doing? Well, it is what it is. Then we'll just keep using something else than Alagazam until we beat a couple of, couple of gyms. Maybe it is to balance the game a little bit. Maybe it does balance the game. Go for Psy Shock here. We'll go for a Veno Shock here. Oop. Super effective. Because, yeah, like, as you guys can see, I like some decks boosted experience, so maybe, like, let's say that Gym Leader says you can use over 30 level Pokemon, maybe. It, uh, maybe. Maybe that's for the normal Pokemon that you haven't traded, but the trade that might be like 10 levels, might come one, 10 levels from, 10 levels behind, if you know what I mean. Man, that is painful to try to explain, but you guys know what I mean. If the gym leader says you can have le over level 30 to obey you, maybe the traded Pokemon, it's like over 20 at that point. Could be an interesting feature in the game. That's still a really cool animation. This guy has two more Pokemon, I think. Now we're both back back at full health. Dude with the tree Clefairies. Nope. Go for Psy Shock and we'll go for Veno Shock here. Like I said, I'm going to obey again. This probably doesn't KO, yeah. Like I said, what are you doing? Like a Sam, we're going to put you in the back. What are you doing, my man? There seems to be something weird here. Every time I try to use two same moves in a row, like a Sam doesn't obey. Did you guys notice that? I tried to go for double dazzling gleam, it didn't work. I tried to. Go for the Psy Shock, but if I keep shuffling the move, like a Sam will keep attacking. Interesting. Well, just for your bad behavior. Ah. One more. Guess we'll go with Stunky and Roselia then. Probably the weakest weakest two Pokemon on my team anyway, so getting some extra levels on them should be fine. As I said before, Roselia is surprisingly strong. It's a small Pokemon, it doesn't look to be that strong, but this thing is actually like I think it has like same special attack that Gyarados has an attack, attack stat or something like that. And uh, Roserade will make it even more crazier. Hmm. 
There we go, there we go. I think the more we move on in this game, I like it a little bit more better. I like to... I really like Sword and Shield, the, the competitive gameplay, but these older games have much better gameplay or storyline, if you guys know what I mean. I, I don't know how to explain it. The newer ones just didn't quite have what these ones. These are like classics. Of course, they have a really strong nostalgia vibe. But still, there's just something. Like, the beginning is always a little bit painful. There's too much, like, tutorial and stuff like that. But Sworn and Shield really had, had a lot of two. And uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon were really nice. You, would, you could catch pretty much any Pokemon in the game. It was really cool. But, like, you walked... 10 meters, and here's a great potion, here's a max potion, oh, you came into this tower, well, here's 10 ultra balls and a max potion for you, and it was like two, I don't like, I don't like the conversations and uh, the forced, forced tutorials and uh, animations in this games. Memento, the user faints when using this move in return, harshly lowers the target's attack and special attack. It's actually a really good move, but it's not that great during the playthrough. Alright, we beat the gangster and the beauty. And I was pretty sure we, 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 we would... We would see a skunk tank, but... Nope. I like a Sam. Get your ass back in the line. Yay, my favorite Pokemon, Psyduck. Gengar is really cool too. Who doesn't like Gengar? But Psyduck, I can really, truly relate to a Pokemon that has constant headaches. Always gotta look through people's trash because for some weird reason in these games there's some good, good items in this one. I think you can get like leftovers in the earlier games from. You need to have rock climb here. Trash is empty. Tin tower this, tin tower that. Mm. Trick room is a good, good. Gotta bust up this thing here. Nope. Okay. There is no item here. That, that definitely looked like a place that could have an item there. Let's see. Let's try to make some progress. I was just about to say, where's the next Pokemon Center? I think Empoleon ran out of moves 20 minutes ago. Red Shard. And that's about it for the town, I think. Shellus. Shellilu. Alright, Swimmers. Tuber. Bibarel that thing. Evolved. Evolved. Oof. And we'll go for a Kika Train. That thing is um, normal water, I think. Double diving. It's kind of cool you can catch a normal dive from the beginning that evolves into a water dive, but well, you can catch Magic Arp pretty much in any game, but Interesting view of the world that the Pokemon company had 
decided to go at some point that even if you beat like children in the Pokemon battle, you always get money from them too. Cooper Jarrett. Shellos. Well, well, well. Yeah, I should have definitely let Krasnut. But if I have more Krasnuts in the back, I might teach. We need we need more grass moves. I do have those PP ups that I get. I could use on Giga Train. Yeah, I definitely don't need synthesis for anything in this game, but come on. Kinda like the <laughs> Shellas is one of my favorite Pokemon too, and it's a it's a cool Cool detail that the girl and boy are different color and a little bit different shape. It's a, it's a nice detail. Those things did not give you a good, good amount of experience. That was horrible. You get more from wild Pokemon for sure. There we go. So three or two steps down and to the left. One, two. Stungy, get your Stungy here. Standing on the great ball we need. Let's go, let's go, fisherman. Nice, this guy was the battle. Three Pokemon, hopefully something else than a uh, three Magikarps. No, these things, <laughs> these things don't give you any ex any good experience at all. At all, my friends, at all. That's it. Remoraid, okay, I'll take that. This guy gets Psybeam for some reason, I have no idea why. And and it's a fish that evolves into an octopus too. It's an interesting thing. Not a lot of experience. Oh, there we go. The weakness of our team, Gyarados. I have nothing for this guy. We do not have electric moves for this guy. That's going to be a pain in the something in the Elite Four. Well, at least for now we're good. Ah, we got a critical hit. Maybe, maybe that helped out a little bit. I don't know. That's a lot of experience, though. Alright. Okay, I'm standing on it because it gives you... Stunky! Oh, no way. Stunky. Stunky. You need to settle down. Okay. <laughs> okay. I hear you. So, two steps down and to the left. Isn't this nice with the partner Pokemon? A couple of steps to their right. Pearl.
Okay, this guy's like the Frenzy Parator. Footprint Ribbon, very nice. Well, okay, I guess it gives you some ribbons. Okay. Alright, alright. Alright, had to take a small break there. There was somebody be uh, behind the door, but you guys probably don't see any difference in the recording. Lamia. Also, if you are here and you're listening, I'm actually moving and uh, I think I'm going to eventually, like, the ch hopefully get the channel a little bit more better. St better states. I'm gonna have more room. I'm probably gonna buy a better computer. I can have a selfie camera on. I actually have a really good camera right now and uh, definitely want to make a little bit more better quality content, but the computer I just have doesn't have the power to put the selfie camera on and record, so that's unfortunate for now. And we get awakening from here. Actually, just by pure luck. That kind of bothers me there. It's the rock climb guy. Shall we pick up some berries that we will never use? Yes, please. Raspberries, aqua berries. These are actually good items. I think they're pinch berries, which means once you get to a quarter of HP, they heal you much more than citrus berry. It's kind of. Those are good items. As promised, we're making quite quite a good time here. We already threw like two. Two towns and a lakefront. And we get some stickers. Uh, worthy of a scarf. What Pokemon do you need to show this guy? A normal type? Is it a silk scarf? Uh, uh, whatever, keep your stupid scarf. Is this Safari Zone? It's a great marsh, but yeah, it's it is the safari zone. There's actually something upstairs too. We could go go here and adventure a little bit too. We should go to the underground as well. I actually played underground off screen a little bit. It's a lot of fun, but great marsh and underground might take a whole episode of me doing nothing but that. But yes, finally the gym. Another Psyduck again. What? Alright. Who's up for some legendary egg hatching? Something tells me this is going to be a Manaphy from the Manaphy egg. Manaphy is actually a really good Pokemon. Like a really good, I think. Let's take the berries and uh, we'll check out Manaphy after that. I'm gonna put it on the computer. I can't really remember what Pokemon you can get from the Great Marsh, except you can get that Krokunk, that Fighting Poison type, which is really good, and that Scorpion, Dark. Dark Poison, which might actually be a little bit better than Stungy, but we'll keep our Skunk. Skunk with us. It's the same typing, it's a good, good typing for sure. 
check out the houses, check out Manafi and beat the team. If you trade me a hard scale, okay. That could actually be good. Let's see. Staraptor might learn Brave Bird. Nope. Or not. You can learn forgotten moves, but sometimes the Pokemon have like weird weird moves here. Let's see. Empoleon, Aqua Jet, Swords Dance. That could actually be <laughs> pretty sick, but Uh, for now, I don't think we need this. Is there anything here? Not really. Magical Leaf is actually something we... We didn't get, and it, it's, it's, it's a good move. I might give that. Crash Nut would have actually kind of been better than, I think. Confusion, Kinesis, lowers target's accuracy, that's actually kind of annoying. Psy Beam, Ally Switch, interesting. And the Reflect, nothing, nothing good there, but... Should I give Roselia Magical Leaf? Is that a waste of hard scale? Toxic Spikes is also a good move. Yeah, I'm just gonna give it the magical leaf just for I don't know why. Cross nod is better, but decisions have been made. We'll check out the mana fee. I I will not forget it. Burn me this, burn me that, burn me, burn me. Burn me has different colors and stuff like that. That's probably why they were. Great marsh, great marsh. There's the Pokemon Mart, and that's about it for the town, right? Okay. Alright, one more house, Manaphy Gym. Manaphy Gym. Berry. TV program also seems to be changing and varying from from towns and places. Heal the Pokemon and put the mana in the in the PC. Uh, we'll put it on the PC and I think we can check it, check the stats as we do this. Pure water dive, docile nature. And, uh, that's about it for mana fee for now. Remember when I got a Dialga from China already? If you haven't, please be sure to check out the previous episodes. Didn't we skip one gym? I think we did. This is a water gym. It is for sure a water gym. Oop. Who's up for a brain bustle? We definitely can't can't do. Uber check it. One Pokemon. Buizel. I guess we'll use Roselia. 
And we'll go for that magical leaf now. There we go. Super Jackie was defeated. Wanna check out something real quick. Um, how do I do this? So, special attack is 90, and Alakazam pretty much the same level as 100. Alakazam, super, super strong. And Roselia has 90, that's what I'm saying. It's not even a Roserade yet. Roselia is. Even though it's. It still can evolve, it's a really good, strong Pokemon. Um, I guess this is the right way. Fisher Walter, Barboach. Oh, yes, please. Oh, it's the first. Oh, it's Whiskas, the second form. It's ground. Ground. Water, so. Go for magical leaf here. There we go. Magical leaf is a good move too because it can miss. It can be useful. Maybe it was a little bit of waste of hard scale. We could have used crash nut, but it's whatever. Magical leaf is has a lot of has 20 PP, so it's good. It's good, my friends. This guy, a sailor. Damien with a wing wall. And unfortunately we don't have an electric coverage on this team. I really need that. I really kinda need it, but can't have it all. The last Pokemon still I think needs to be something that can deal with the dragons. Maybe a dragon or an ice type, so. Or have an advantage. We actually... I think I have a Swablu, so that is a dragon flying. But we already have a Staraptor as a flying type, so I don't know. But then again, if I take a... I could take a Salamence, which is flying dragon, but we'll see. Something like a ground ice could be good, like a mammoth swine or pillow swine or whatever that is, but... Oop. It's the duper guy. Tuber Gatlin. Send out Azuril. That thing is normal dive for some reason, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. And it has Sapsipper. So we can't use any grass moves and now it's behind a screen too. I have Poison Sting, but... Actually, I should have switched out in the Staraptor because they have the light screen up now. Probably, she'll just probably have another Azuril or Maril in the back or something like that, so... Does get the speed drop, though. Does keep things interesting. There we go. And a Maril. We'll just go for the Staraptor. It's nice to cycle. Cycle the experience a little bit too, so...
And uh, we can go for an aerial ace, I guess. Takedown would have been much a little bit more powerful, but... Super Caitlyn was defeated. Too much. It's just too much. Fisher guy. Why is this guy fishing inside the gym? Like I get it, he's the fisher in the water gym, but he's literally fishing in the gym that has no Pokemon. That's like true dedication on being a water trader. I don't know, this guy has almost a menacing face if you look. Look at the fisherman in the background. It's almost like... <laughs> almost a little bit of an evil grind there. Let's see what we have. Barboge. Green, is that it? That's the smile green, right? Whatever. Get that trash out of here. I'm pretty... Pretty interested what the gym leader has. I can't remember, actually. Roselia, 37. Gyarados, well, we don't have anything for that, so bring it out. Maybe at some point we'll have a sludge bomb or something. We'll just kick a train you for now. Ah, Man, Gyarados has such a high special defense, too. I'm actually pretty surprised that... I know it's neutral damage, but still, 24 level Gyarados, that's 37 Rosalia. Gyarados is an absolute monster once you get it to like... Once you get that magic up to level 20, the playthrough, playthrough becomes much more easier if you have one of those. And it has Intimidate in this game too, so it's really good. Um... Huh? I guess we're making some good progress. This should be the last or the second last trainer that will beat the gym leader if we can. Samson... Shellos. There's also not much, even though, like, Roserade can't one-shot a Gyarados, now that I think about it, there's not much Gyarados can do. Like, Waterfall is not very effective. Gyarados gets Crunch, it gets Earthquake, neutral damage. Mm, even though it's Flying Water, it doesn't get any flying moves really good. Maybe a Fly or Bounce it used to get in Sword and Shield Bounce, yeah. Like, a Pelipper is... A little bit more dangerous. Yeah, if you want to deal with Gyarados, have a physical electric move. Something like a spark or, well, Thunderbolt or anything really does it. I wonder if I like a Sam learns something like a shockwave that could be enough to do. And on to the gym leader, my friends. On to the leader of this place. This guy we have already beaten. It's this crazy, crazy goof. Welcome. I don't get challenged very often. Well, I can see why that gym is horrible to navigate through. The glory you are now beholding is the Pastoria gym leader. That's right. I'm Crasher Wake. That's definitely not his right name. My Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white waters. They'll take everything you can throw at them and then pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. I feel you, I feel you. Old man with no shirt. Cool pack round. And they bust out the big guns right from the beginning. They do be busting up the big guns. 
So we know we can't one-shot this thing. This could be... I might need to stun spore it. I don't... This might not even be a two-shot. Come on. Ah, easy. They go for an Ice Fang. Oof. I was just about to say Gradas does get Ice Fang. I... Still doesn't do too much. And once we get the Roserade, we'll have a little bit more defense. Ice Fang is a good move, but it's like base 55, so... Gyarados is a small problem for the team, but... Waxire. That's a ground... Ground water thing. That thing is going to heal us right back in full. Thank you. Waxire looks pretty big in this game, too. Oh, yes. And I think our Roselia actually has horrible defenses. Yeah, we even have their defense reducing nature, so that Gyarados has every benefit with that Ice Fang. And considering that, it didn't do too much. And the Float Cell. This thing gets Ice Fang too, I think. That was a good move. Oh, it sure was. This thing gives me a problem. It's actually a pretty strong Pokemon. It's fast, it's got good attack. Yeah, it does have the Dice Fang. Let's see. Goodbye. Yeah, something like an Ice Beam would have KO'd us, but Ice Fang is just not quite enough. But cool stuff still. Cool stuff nonetheless. Let's see what we get here. <gasps> oh, the best thing about this episode is still, still to come. We get a skunk tank. Oh yes, what a perfect episode. Let's check out what water move we get. I think there's going to be a small animation after the gym and we'll call it for the episode there. Oh yeah. Good skunk tank. It sprays a wild smelling fluid from the tip of its tail to attack. It can fire this spray more than 160 feet. Disgusting. Four down, four to go, but... We had a little bit slow start. The game is always slow in the in the early, but now it's pretty much a gym leader per episode and uh, we'll get, get a lot of stuff to... A lot of things done as we proceed. TM55s... Brian, we already have the move. Let's get the effing out of here. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. Yay, we have a skunk tank. Mm, mm. Yo, pretty cool remix from the Pokemon team. Mm, mm. Okay, so horrible special attack, pretty weak at attack. Not a good defense is, not a very fast one. That's our boy. Or girl, actually. That is a horrible special attack stat. Well. We have a skunk tank and we are going to use it. Yeah, if you want a good, like, that's actually a really good typing, the dark poison, so... But if you want to use that thing, there's that scorpion on the Great Marsh. We might explore the Great Marsh and uh, do like an episode that we go underground and Great Marsh. And after that we'll proceed with the plot. Maybe like a spin-off episode. But at this point, I'd really like to thank all of you for watching. I really do appreciate it a lot. Every like, every subscribe. And uh, the best thing you can do for me is just enjoy the content. Thank you for watching. 
and see you guys next time. Have a wonderful rest of the